been great news. I was finally able to turn in my Alejandro's punch card. I visited the restaurant seven times and got five dollars off my next lunch and or breakfast. I think that might have won. But Ben, as I was digging through my wallet, determined to earn my $5 prize, I noticed there might have been a couple of things I did not need in my wallet. So as I sat there by myself waiting for my food, yeesh, if my food wasn't fish tacos, this would have been a really depressing lunch. Anyway, I was going through my wallet, determined to remove anything that I didn't need from there, and I failed. I think somehow there's more stuff in there now. So Ben, let's have a look at what apparently I need on me every day. Hey, money, that's a surprise. How did this get in here? I actually found this $20 bill on the ground this weekend. <laughs> What? Gonna get me something nice. Regal card, which I actually do go to the movies a lot and get the rewards on. Free peach milkshake, uh, hello, speaks for itself. Starbucks gift card, pretty sure this has about 50 cents on it. Ooh, another punch card and only two visits away until I get five dollars. This is horrible deals, why do I get these? GameStop power-up card, I don't go there often, but I mean, how dumb would I feel if I went there and didn't have the card? I mean, I filled out the paperwork and everything. Expired health insurance card and who expired auto insurance cards? Dad's Best Buy reward card. Oh my god, are you John Carlin's card? Nationwide roadside assistance card. I don't even know if I still get this service, but there's no expiration date. And I'm like, what if I need roadside assistance one day and I didn't keep this with me? Oh, this is an essential. My Patty scuba diving license card. Because how horrible would it be to miss a random scuba diving opportunity because I just didn't have my license on me? I mean, I could never forgive myself for that. But here's the thing, Ben. As much as I would like to be, I just don't think I'm ever going to be in an impromptu scuba diving situation. But keeping this card with me makes me feel like I could be. Movie gift card, have no idea how much is on it, but that's how the gift cards get you. You use it once and then you forget what's on it. This could have 50 cents, but it could have like seven dollars I just always forget I have it at the movies. American Eagle All Access Card, which is actually good because I do shop there a lot every time I go through adolescence. Hallmark Gift Card. Yeah, this is a keeper, Ben. I didn't even use this one this weekend on Mother's Day. Fun fact, I used to think the store was called Hallmart because it was a store. Honestly, I still think that holds up. Debit card, grocery card, another food punch card, mom's American Eagle credit card, which for some reason she has at all. My college ID, which I actually keep with me to get discounts at ski resorts and movie theaters. Don't judge me. Active health insurance card, that's a keeper. Oh, and an inactive Panera card. Great. And it doesn't stop there, Ben. Whenever I leave the house, I do the classic three pocket check to make sure I've got my keys, wallet, and cell phone. Yeah, I'm wearing khakis. And my phone and keys are just as bad. Two keys to my office, two keys to my college apartment, which might actually be illegal for me to own. House, car, gym, this, this, Ben, I don't know what this opens. I know I have it for a reason, and I think, what if I get rid of it? And that door is still locked, and this is the only copy, and then that door is just locked forever, and there's something valuable inside, and I don't know. It doesn't matter, because I don't know what door it is. Oh, and look, a second unactive Panera card. It's trash. I'm carrying trash around with me. No, trash with potential because I could activate it. And if you're on my phone or I downloaded you as an app, well, you better get comfy because you're not going anywhere. Why do I need some of these numbers? Why do I need our high school cross country coach's phone number? Mike's ex-girlfriend, John's ex-girlfriend, the pigeon. <laughs> ben, do you remember the pigeon? Because I do, because she's in my phone. I can't get rid of them. And not because I'm like embarrassed that they would like contact me one day and I wouldn't have their contact information, but because deleting them would be like, deleting the version of yourself you were when you knew them. Like my freshman roommate here. I haven't talked to him since like my sophomore year, but that number reminds me of that exciting point in my life when I was moving to college and it was a fun time. And deleting it would feel like deleting that memory somehow, which is crazy because it's not like I couldn't contact Dave if I didn't want to, or even our cross country coach Ben, because I'm connected to anyone I could ever want to talk to on like Facebook or Twitter or YouTube. I don't need them in my phone to get a hold of people. But then what do you gain by just deleting the number? I mean, nothing, right? It's not hurting anything, taking up space in your phone. You are literally only deleting information from your life. So why delete it? I don't know. I mean, maybe it's like a little bit more liberating. It's a symbolic step forward instead of looking back. Or maybe it's just stupid, I don't know. So Ben, my question for you and everybody else is, is there anything you carry around with you all the time that you absolutely do not need? Let me know down in the towel section below and I will see you in another life, brother.